So, what up, YouTube? Skyrim music in the background. Um, so, is suicide forgivable or unforgivable by God? Can God forgive a person who commits suicide? If a person who is saved, truly saved by the blood, blood of Jesus Christ, and commits suicide, is that unforgivable? Would their soul wind up in hell? Will they stand before God and God saying, you committed, you committed suicide, that's murder, because you yourself are a person, you killed yourself, that's self-murder, but it's still murder according to my standard, because my, my law says, my commandment says, thought shall not kill, no matter if it's you or another person. Well, there's two things. One, if you, if, before you kill yourself, if you like took a lot of medications, uh, like 10 times, 100, uh, like 50 times more than the fatal amount, you know for sure you're going to die, right? There's no saving you. And you pray for forgiveness for God because you know it's going to happen and he knows it's going to happen. Yeah, you will forgive you. But even if you did not do that, if you are a true saved Christian by Jesus Christ, there is nothing that you can ever do to get unsaved or go to hell. Nothing. The blood of Christ is so, so powerful. It wipes our souls clean of sin for all eternity. The second, the nanosecond you believe in Jesus Christ as your personal Savior, believe in his death, resurrection, Romans 10, 9, ABCs to salvation, um, you're forgiven for past, present, and future sins. It's already paid for. Already paid for. So, because God can see the future. He knows what sins you're going to do. And they're already forgiven, even if you don't ask God for forgiveness. The Bible says if we confess to God our confess our sins to God, He will forgive us our trespasses and cleanse us from all unrighteousness or something, right? But that is before you uh, re place your faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. If you feel sorrow and regret for stuff you did, and if you're unsaved at the time. Confess those sins to God, ask for his forgiveness, and he will cleanse you from all unrighteousness, and then your mind will be clean, your heart will be clean, it will be empty so that you can, in fact, receive Lord Jesus Christ into your body, your heart, and your soul, the Holy Spirit. Um, so... The only unforgivable sin that there is, is to never receive the only way to salvation. How can you be forgiven if you deny the only way to be forgiven? Jesus Christ. Without the Son, there is no forgiveness. You can't ask God for forgiveness of your sins. He won't forgive you for your sins unless if you ask Lord Jesus Christ into your heart. Um, actually, wait, I, honestly, I, I will have to research that more, but, um, but once you're saved, the blood of Christ is so powerful. The blood of an eternal God is so powerful that it, nothing can take it away from you. The whole thing about the whole stuff about, um, once saved, always saved, being untrue. Of course, the Bible does not say that. Does not say once saved, always saved. But it does give us clear evidence that salvation, once you have it, cannot be lost or forfeited or throw away or whatever you want to call it. He gives us everlasting life, and nobody will snatch me, out, snatch, snatch them out of my hand, my Father's hand. There's many clear scripture proof that 
you cannot lose salvation. The unforgivable sin back in the Old Testament, the Old Covenant, was to speak against the Holy Spirit. Because the Pharisees actually acknowledged the power of the Holy Spirit to demons and said that Jesus was possessed by demons to where he got his great strength from. Not strength, but uh, the, he, uh, healing others and call, uh, performing miracles. That was the unforgivable sin back then. Now the unforgivable sin is never receiving Lord Jesus Christ as your personal Lord and Savior. Because there's no other way to heaven except for Jesus Christ. That is the only key to heaven, is God's only Son. For whoever shall believe in him will have eternal life. Will have eternal life. You cannot lose something that is eternal. If you have life that lasts forever, everlasting life, you cannot lose that, no matter what. Because the blood of Christ is already forgiving your sins 80 years before you even commit them. Past, present, and future sins. That's why Jesus Christ died on the cross for, for us. To save us from hell for all eternity. He knew we couldn't, can't stop sinning. As human beings, even dwelling within us, he knows that we will still be making mistakes. But, that's he knew we would commit sins over and over and over and over again. I'm not going to get into once saved, always saved, being untrue. I'm not going to get into the whole Hebrews 10.26 thing. You can look up my Can a True Christian Lose Salvation video and Hebrews 10.26 video detail, which is like 31 minutes long. Um, and I actually give proof, scriptural proof, in Can a True Christian Lose Salvation video that... The Bible actually um, says, actually says and proves that no, you cannot lose salvation or forfeit it or throw it away. Once you believe on Lord Jesus Christ for salvation, that's it. You're going to heaven no matter what. So, and I hate it so much when people go against once saved, always saved. They have their own interpretations of the Bible, they think that the Bible and some things can actually, that actually see, uh, means that you can actually lose or forfeit your salvation. No, you can't. Because Jesus wants to save everybody so dearly. Right? From hell. And once we accept him as Lord and Savior, we are saved. We get saved the nanosecond we believe. And people who are against that once saved, always saved thing means they think they're saying and trying to prove to people that once a person is saved from the road to hell, that they can get back on track to, to hell. After coming to know God face to face. Face to face as in... Well, when you're talking, when you're praying, you're always talking to God face to face because you're looking at him. He just can't see him because he's spiritual and you're physical. Um, but he's always there. He's always around us. Anyway, so suicide is not unforgivable. Sure, I, I, I've never, it's not unforgivable, but I've, I never said in this video right here, I never said one, one single time that... God would be happy with you once you meet him in heaven. He would be very disappointed in you. He would tell you, probably say something like, I thought you were stronger than that. I, I, I ha you have my spirit in you to fight Satan. Why did you do this? Why did you lose the battle? Why didn't you put on my armor? I'm very disappointed in you, my son. So you don't want to disappoint God I because you love him. No, he won't send you to hell for suicide. 
but he will he will not be happy with you. That's for sure. And you probably lose rewards in heaven. I don't know what the rewards are, but one little tiny reward in heaven, just a micro infinity microscopic, is infinity more beautiful and perfect and glorious than we can ever even imagine. So you don't want to do that. You don't want to commit suicide because Jesus or uh, your rewards are so precious and your rewards will last for all eternity. I hope you guys enjoy this video and talk to you later.